Bill Nye is the trend all over. He has his new Netflix show, Bill Nye, the not-so-scientist guy. Listen, <laughs> here's something I, I, I want to be clear about. I want to set this up. Uh, Bill Nye was originally a, uh, he was like a stand-up comedian, a sketch comedian, and he is, he has a bachelor's, I believe, I believe a bachelor's in mechanical engineering. So he's not really what most people would consider a scientist, but let's allow that and say that he's a scientist in that field. It doesn't mean that he's an expert in another field. My issue here with Bill Nye is Bill Nye is almost a walking appeal to authority fallacy in the sense that I don't think you need to be a scientist to criticize a scientist's ideas uh, or, or to come up with some kind of a scientific discovery. You just need to be using the scientific method. I get that. So I don't want to just try and discredit Bill Nye because he claims he's the science guy. The issue I have is that Bill Nye is the first guy to tell everybody else that they have no right to debate or be skeptical because he's a scientist and all the scientists agree with him. We okay. in the science community are looking for an explanation why climate change deniers or extreme skeptics uh, do not accept the overwhelming scientific evidence for climate change. And the most reasonable explanation is you have a worldview, and then you have evidence, and the evidence disagrees with your worldview, so you deny the evidence, and then along right. with that, you deny the authorities that are providing the evidence. You will not deny the authorities. <laughs> now, we're going to be talking about gender today because he was, he was, he's making the case that gender exists on a spectrum. By the way, very different if you go back to his old show, he did say that chromosomes determine gender. If you go back to the episodes when we were a kid. Uh, so he's done a 180 on that. Amazing how 2017 just changes science. Yeah. Yeah. Completely <laughs> changes science. Again, I think this is important because he's a track record. He's so anti any even remote uh, critical or skepticism of the idea of catastrophic man-made climate change, he's okay with them being jailed. And you don't, what's your thought on jailing skeptics as war criminals? Uh, well, if the, we'll see what happens. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it appropriate to jail the guys from Enron? Interesting. Okay, right? So we'll see what happens. So, uh, I mean, again, but they'll say anyone who disagrees with them is the extremist. That's sure. his. You're the extremist. Well, I mean, we should jail everyone who disagrees with me. The people who disagree with me, they're the extremists. <laughs> here's, here's the thing, too. Just because, let's say, you are a scientist in one field, um, it doesn't mean that you're an expert in another field. Bill Nye is a mechanical engineer, okay? So he's not an atmospheric scientist, even though he's been, you know, championing the, the, the climate change uh, cause and, and perhaps silencing and jailing skeptics. Uh, he's not a biologist. He's not a doctor. So he wouldn't be an expert in gender or biological sex. Not saying he doesn't have the right to have an opinion, but again, that sort of matters just like in a field of medicine. You can be a doctor, but it doesn't mean that you're qualified in all realms of medicine. Okay, bypass should be a piece of cake. Now count back from 10 as that anesthesia kicks in. I'm so glad I had the best heart surgeon in New York. 10. Well, I'm a podiatrist. This is just my passion. <laughs> So, <laughs> now, here's the thing. Uh, can doctors also have opinions in other fields? For example, yeah, I, I absolutely think so. I think anyone here can have an opinion on ideas in science or ideas put forth by, certainly by scientists, um, particularly when scientists are putting forth unscientific ideas. And I think a, a good example there would be, uh, listen, if your doctor says, I, listen, I'm an MD, okay? I'm not a dietitian. But if your dietitian is advising you, um, as some do, a high carbohydrate, low saturated fat diet, I would advise you to do some research. I personally believe that that's wrong. That's perfectly fine for that doctor to do. Just like it's perfectly fine for Bill Nye to say, listen, I'm not a biologist, I'm not a doctor, I don't have a PhD. I actually have about as, uh, I'm about as qualified to deal with the topic of gender as anybody in this room or watching this video, but I now think it exists on a spectrum. That's why this matters. I never try and discredit someone, just if some, I know people who've never graduated grade school, who are, I know mechanics who are more brilliant than doctors, and I know doctors who are dumber than Kardashians. Coming down to the ideas, Bill Nye decided to do an entire episode on gender. It, I'm just trying to get my head around it. Maybe you can tell me. It, it seems as though the show had absolutely nothing to do with science. L let's cycle through some of his examples. First off, he had a panel of people on there who were, who were gender enthusiasts. It doesn't necessarily seem peer-reviewed, which, again, doesn't always have to be, but Bill Nye acts as though it always has to be with his, his detractors. Um, they let in with this ice cream video. Let's see this. There are lots of flavors to sexuality. Oh, this again? Come on. <laughs> now I've spoken to some of you about my theories on the nature of being ice cream. Which have no basis in science. It's the science of feelings. And as vanilla, I feel that I am the most natural of the ice creams, and therefore the rest of you should just go ahead and also be vanilla. No one can make you stop being strawberry, strawberry. 
your strawberry. Hold me salted caramel. Everyone should pretend to be vanilla until they no longer have the urge not to be vanilla. Wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> You know, we had Dennis Prager on last week who said, I truly believe that the left is more about feelings and the right is more about uh, about facts, about using logic. We've talked about the Socratic method. Now, I know the left, but here's what the left does. They just accuse the right of being anti-science, right? A and what do they mean? They mean anyone who's critical of our brand of science. We believe that the EPA can fix man-made climate change. Well, hold on a second. I'm not sure if we want to. You are a science denier. We believe that transgenderism is biological. Well, hold on a second. There's you are a science denier. So now they've actually created an umbrella so wide, the science of feelings. No, feelings are feelings and science is science. And we're not talking about any kind of synapses or we're not talking about neurotransmitters here. He's not making that argument. He's not even making an analogy. He's trying to say, we need to acknowledge the science of feelings feelings in order to uh, continue along with this narrative. He also used another example going down the trail, which I haven't heard a lot of people bring up, but he brings up the clownfish. And he says, are you, are you aware that the clownfish can uh, change his sex? Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. Somehow, this is, again, is this a scientific method that applies to humans? I mean, we use rats for studies as an indicator as to how something might perform in humans with drugs and supplements. And we always have to say, listen, by the way, it hasn't been studied in humans. It's only been studied in rats. So that's a 50-50 crapshoot. We don't really know. I've not heard of any double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trials with clownfish. <laughs> <laughs> clownfish can change his sex. My dog licks his balls. <laughs> How is this relevant to the idea of biological sex or gender? Next. Then it culminates in this, uh, I, some s slam poetry, a song about gender. I, yeah, I go. With all of that, while I drop some knowledge. Sexuality's a spectrum, uh. everyone is on it. Even you might like it if you sit uh. up on it. Drag queen, drag king, just do what feels right. I, what is that? Uh, what? Is that rap? right? Yeah, well, that's the science of feelings. Stop with the hate Look, speech. No hate speech in my studio. And I'm watching this going, <laughs> what does any of this have to do with science? For a guy who claims that all of his, his detractors are unscientific, for a guy who claims I'm the science guy and, and, and has this qualification superiority based on his pedigree as a mechanical engineer, what does any of this have to do with science? And uh, he kind of wrapped it up Finally getting into the chromosome issue, it was very brief, uh, talking about XX and talking about XY. He does the chromosome bit, uh, and, and then he goes into a very short, very short, he says, well, you know what, and now some scientists or some doctors are maybe believing that the male brain and the female brain, uh, particularly if a male to female transgender, might actually have more in common with the female brain than a male brain. In other words, saying that brains can have genders, brains can have a biological sex. Now, here's the thing. He makes that argument. We'll talk about that on Thursday more in depth. There's one study that makes that. We've talked about how actually the brain changes occurred after cross-sex hormone replacement therapy, and a lot of transgender people were mad, and they cite one study where it deals more so with gray matter in the brain. Well, there have been numerous studies since then trying to recreate that study uh, with more reliable forms of studies that have never been able to prove that. Bill Nye <laughs> is saying maybe some doctors now believe that it's possible with the brain issue. Well, again, science. Bill Nye, isn't the burden of proof at that point on you? Isn't the burden of proof if we've always said that men are men and women are women? And by the way, when you go to the chromosome argument, you say some chromosomes that sometimes you know DNA can genetically mutate, it's usually not a net positive, okay? <laughs> we're usually talking about some kind of a bizarre illness, disease. That's usually what people yeah. are talking about with genetic mutation. An extra Y doesn't make you an X-Men. No, it no, usually no. makes you Flipper Boy. <laughs> and by the way, I don't know. People out there can maybe send me. I've never seen any kind of a study, even when they bring up the chromosome issue, I've never seen any definitive study saying, well, this uh, type of a chromosome actually is directly related to transgenderism, to the identity. I've seen people say, well, you know what? Chromosomes aren't entirely reliable. Therefore, transgenderism. I've never seen them saying, but we actually have a hypothesis which we can test. We see this kind of uh, a particular difference or anomaly in uh, human DNA, in human, sorry, in uh, human uh, chromosomes, and uh, that tends to give one a proclivity towards transgenderism. Send it to me. I haven't seen it. Science is hypothesis, test it, conclusion. He's testing nothing and coming to the conclusion that now gender is on a spectrum because feeling. And of course, the big irony that Jared has brought up and several guests have talked about, if the idea that there, if there's this idea that there can be a male brain and a female brain, 
And this is the basis on which uh, modern sort of gender identity is predicated, right? Well, actually, someone can be, the, the, the wrong brain can be born into the wrong body, a female brain in a male body. Well, it blows up the entire hypothesis to begin with because we've since said that gender is a social construct. <laughs> Well, gender, is, gender can't be a social construct if someone is born with a wrong brain, which you are saying is biologically a male brain and a female brain, even more so if we're using it as a constant. If we are saying there is such a reliable uh, 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 format for what a male brain looks like and a female brain, that there is an anomaly and an outlier with transgender or uh, gender dysphoria uh, people, that it's clear they're born with the wrong brain, Again, that has to be so remarkably consistent that gender couldn't possibly be a social construct. But Bill Nye simply wants to say, the science of feelings, gender exists on a spectrum. And that's why he's Bill Nye, the not so sciencey douchebag, arrogant guy. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran entering that promo code, it's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.